Hi, Jackie. How are you? Okay, I'm going to start. So tonight I'm working with painted poppies. Hi, Linda and Stacy. Um, and a couple of the, oh, I did my usual, didn't shut my sound off. Ringtone off. Okay, we're good again. And a couple of the different new embossing, cutting and embossing. And then also, I showed it quickly, and uh, I'm only using one piece from it, but the Peaceful Poppies Elements, and they're uh, like some stickers. Yep, these are, I don't think they're stickers. I think you have to glue them. And then some other little things in there. So I haven't played with all of it yet, but I am going to use that. So let me put that aside. And I'm going to pull out the one I need and then put the rest of it aside. Now, you know I'm going to forget where it is, but it's right there. <laughs> right, right there. Okay, so I'm going to start out with a very simple card. And, and I like to keep my card simple. But this is the DSP. So... I had cut off a four inch piece. So out of this piece, when you see what I did, you get six cards. So let me move this as well. So this is the card that I did. Very simple. Because you can't see them all as I do them because I didn't really finish them all. And I did not score that. And you know I like my things scored. So I'm going to pull out my scoreboard. I had company today. Sue came over with her hubby. And um, we flipped around my, my room a little bit. So then I was like looking for things. I'm like, where did we put that? Where did we put that? But... When I'm done, it's going to be so much better. So much better. Okay. So very simple. What did I do here? Oh, I know. That's for stamping on. <laughs> that's for the inside, actually. So this is just five and a quarter by four. And we're going to go ahead and glue that down. And there's something on my screen that I have no idea what it is. There we go. I'm trying to see comments and be a little better at chatting, but I'm not very good at doing both. But I do try to answer all my questions you know, questions after, and then I have very helpful watchers and they answer questions also. So what, let's see what I stamped on the inside. I don't even know. Oh yes. That one that I just put away. Cause I said, hmm, I didn't use that. So I'm going to take this one and stamp that on the inside like there. And then I have used the blends on these. So this is Dark and Light Poppy Parade. And really, girls, I'm a scribbling. So very simple. And right there. And then I have the light and dark granny apple green. So we'll just throw a little bit in there. I never use the brush point on these. I'm not even worrying about two colors because this is way too thin. 
but on the leaf I'll do a little bit. So there's the inside of our card and I'll go ahead and glue that. And you can use the blends when you, you're gluing something to it. I know we've all done mistakes and <laughs> use the blends when we're not mounting something to it and your alcohol will always go through to the other side. It's easy, Sandra. Hi, Judith. And Sue, I thought you lifted my white, um, um, whatchamacallit, ribbon. <laughs> I was like, I can't find it. Where'd we put it? But I did find it. Okay, so this one, it, if you can see it, it embosses as well as cuts it leaves that nice indentation all around so i am going to stamp and i probably no it's not in there i might have put it away all right that came out of something else so i did um is it this one wishing you it's not that one Good job, Gail. Good job. Oh, I have all these sets here. Maybe I'll just do something else. But that was like a two-tone thing. Where'd it come out of? Oh, it's right there. Duh. Duh. So we ended up moving. My ink pads are now behind me. So I don't have to reach and we straightened out my desk so now I'm going to be doing two-tone on this so you don't want to use your blends because that like dries instantly you want to use your stamp and write markers so you want to use your brush end and you want to use the side not the tip and I am just going to ink that up. So I'm using the Poppy Parade. I did cut two of these just in case. And then we're going to take the Rich Razzleberry on the center one. And you can even let it like touch the other if you want it to. Okay, then we're gonna huff and try to stamp straight. And you could do this on the Stamparatus. Hi Lou. Hi BJ. So there you have it with two right there. So that's going to go there. And of course, I just moved everything so I could see my uh, tablet. So that's going to go there. We're going to pop that up. And of course, this is the card that we're going to use this. So we're going to take this pre-printed vellum. And there is a right side and a wrong side. It's almost like it's been um, embossed, heat embossed. So I need something dark under it. Ah, can you see that better now? So I'm on the opposite side. And I'm going to take the Poppy Parade. And let's see how that looks. See how now it has some color and you can do all of them red or you can flip around and you can use either the blends or the markers for this. And these are water-based. Let me throw in a couple razzleberry ones.
And this again, you don't have to be like real crazy neat. So we're just going to give it a little bit of color. And I'll hold it up a little bit after. So I can glue that down right there. And then I'll take this. Ooh, that was a trick. Yeah, anytime you like stamp on vellum or, you know, like heat emboss on it, you can always color on it. Okay, and this is the ribbon that I thought Sue lifted. Sorry, Sue. I'm like, she had to have taken it. <laughs> then I was missing something else and I went, she got that too. Okay. That's two videos in a row that I got. This one's a little harder than the last one. But I got it. First try. Do I get a prize? Just play with it till you like it, and then we'll trim it off. I think there's glue on my scissor. Can you tell? All right, now if I can find, look at that right in front of me. So, did anybody see my post about my 666 today? <laughs> Oh my God, I was like, no, I need more people to subscribe. So now it hit 6,670 and I'm happy. <laughs> no more 666. So there you have very simple card using the DSP. So let me put these aside. I'll bring them back. Um, yeah, did I make a mess here already? Okay, for my next, all right, we'll do the watercoloring one. Now, most of this, this is the one that I did most of it, but I do want to show you how I did the background. So, I took Seaside Spray. And like really squeezed it to get some ink in there. And then I took the aqua pen. It just has water in it. You know, sometimes I, I use alcohol, but this is just water. And then I just did some back and forth. That's it. Just a quick... And this is watercolor paper. It's easier when you use uh, the thicker brush. But this is all I can find right now. It's still somewhere. I wonder how long I can use that excuse. Oops, I better put this back in my tipsy or... It'll all be dry and I'll be crying again. So that's the background. And then I took, what's this color? Gale. Um, Gale. Pear pizzazz. So this is five by three and three quarters. Yay, my glue works. Fatima, you have a question? You have a question mark. So I'm just going to glue that to that. Okay. Then I'm going to stamp the poppy in black. And I am using the Gina K. 
because you can use it for everything. And I just inked that up, you would think. Okay, so let that dry a second. You can see when it's shiny. Hi, Judy. I have about eight aqua pens, and I could only find one. I probably have more than that from when I was doing, like, a lot, a lot of classes. Okay, so we're going to do this poppy. And where it goes over another one, you want to make that your darker. And then I did, what did I use? Oh, I know. It's here. I also use the um, light Calypso Coral. And I'll show you what I did with that. So then the light... poppy and with the blends i i do like more circles than i do with the other markers because that helps it blend better so then i took the light poppy and i took the light calypso coral mm, they're so tight so i'm just taking some of the ink onto the lighter one and making a third color so this was the calypso was too light and this just gives it a little something something so i'm going to leave them off because that's so hard to get off and i'll leave that kind of kind of sort of on and i'm going to go ahead and really not do one leaf at a time. Pedal. Pedal to the metal. And then this is also right there. It is just a little bit harder to blend when you do this, but you can do it. Because this way it's drying. Hi, Holly. Oh, now I know why I had that other marker out. It's for the inside. Okay. So now we are going to use the Light Poppy Parade. And again, with these, I to blend it, I do more circular motions where I really don't with the other ones. Okay. So now we're going to take the light coral. And again, I'm going to do that. Blending them together. Jacqueline called it marrying them. Say, I do. I do. Okay. So we are marrying them. I do. Do you use your Copics with blends? Yes. I have the illustrators, and yes, I do mix them when I am sitting here and coloring by myself. I do believe any alcohol markers, um, I don't want to say any, but I do believe they work together. You know, they may not be the same shades, but you can mix and match and Oops, I went out of line. 
Okay, so then I would take it to, um, whoop, that goes on that one. I would take it to my cutter in the die cut and cut them out. And they would look like this. Oh, but what I didn't show you, duh, Gail. Okay, now this I learned from Lou, from watching her. So what I did was, and this I'm using an illustrator. I made little curly cues. Because that black here wasn't dark enough. So I did these little curly cues. Uh, and then, where's the other one? Then I used the light basic black. And just going around in curly cues instead of just like coloring it all in. And then you can come back with the dark black and just do some dots. So it, it gives it a little bit of texture. Let's see. This is like not focusing right. I want my money back. I need a different camera. I'm going to try using my phone on Wednesday and see if it gets any better because this just doesn't seem clear to me anyway. Oh, it just got clear. And I think, let me try changing the definition. Uh, 720 HD. I don't know if that's going to fix it, but we'll try it. I don't know. Nope, it's still... Weird, 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 weird. Okay, so my idea for this card, and I did a couple little leaves, was to glue this down good. And it did warp a little from being wet, so really I should have used the tear and tape. Would have kept it a little straighter. But we're going to go with this because I had already started. I just got something on the back. I hope it's glue. All right. So then we're just going to take the poppies. One of them I am going to pop up. Two are going to go flat. We'll see how my idea works. Okay. So let's kind of lay it out. Poppies, poppies everywhere. So we've got that. And we've got that one. And I should have stuck these in before I glued. So I just want to get like a spot. Okay. And then this one. Is going to go that way. Okay, and then I use those dies, <laughs> whatever they're called. I'll learn it. It's new. And do I want to put this one up? Yes, I do. I want to put that up and the other flat. So, one, two, three. So we're going to put that down. Well, not exactly straight. Let's see if I didn't push too hard, you can fix it. Better. 
Okay, and then this is going to go down flat. And that's just a, except for the, you know, what it takes you to color. But this set also, which I haven't tried yet, so let's give it a whirl. Um, just to see how it looks. I'm not going to worry about how good I stamp it either. But I think I would do the same thing as go back and do that trick with the inside no matter what. So let's do a copy. And I don't know if you need to stamp off or not, but let's try it. And I'm going to use this, except I'm using it for my other card. All right, I'll use that side. Just so you don't get too much ink on it. And I don't think this is like where it fits exactly. I think it goes over. And it might be directional. I don't know. Let's stamp off. I liked it better when I did that to it. Let's see. I like coloring it better. That's just me. But there is a look. And there might be, you know, like setting it. I have to play more with it. But I'd rather color them personally. Okay. So at least we played... I'll play more. Sue will, either I'll go to Sue or Sue will come to me and we'll play. Okay, so that was card number two. So now card number three is another technique. And I'm definitely doing this card a little different than my sample. Because I didn't like how it really came out. But I call this technique um, twist, stamp and twist. And I did this, oh, almost a year ago. And I just stamp it and twist. And you can do it with all different kinds of backgrounds background stamps you know little ones okay so I've got that and that was in balmy blue now I'm going to take the pear pizzazz clean enough anybody else do that Okay. So that's pretty quick. And you've got this background. So now we're going to take the poppies and ink them up. And I'm going to stamp. Now again, I'm going to take the blends and I'm going to do this as quick as I can. So I'm not getting them like real neatsy neatsy, but you don't really have to. And your other ink won't smear. So you can go right over it. And I'm just using, oh, I'm using the light. I thought I was using the dark. But that's fine. The light works too. 
I mean, we don't want it to get lonely, so we can use it. Okay, so let's do some. So I've got the razzleberry dressing. And I'm going to do some in the dark. Oh, maybe I want the light. Let's see how the light looks. I like the light. And like I said, I mean, you can see I am really not worrying I'm just kind of doing like little circles to fill them in. You don't have to worry about the centers in these. It's what you call quick, quick, quick. I think there's more poppies popping up, I swear. There wasn't that many when I stamped them. Okay. If I missed a few of you guys, I'm sorry. Don't be upset. Okay. So there's that part of it. So your sky looks like. Hmm. All right. So we're going to go ahead and glue this down. So this was five by three and three quarters and three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. Okay, so what did I do with what I was going to do differently? I don't know. It was here. That was the extra one. All right, maybe if I backtrack... Then again, maybe not. Maybe I'll have to use that. Oh, I know what I was going to do. I, I really didn't like the way the first one came out. But um, where is the flutter by? Okay, so from Butterfly Wishes. Duh, da 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 it's got to be right here. Sue, did you put that in your purse too? Come on. She booby trapped me. She booby trapped me. Okay. I don't know where it went. And it like was here. Uh, oh, check it out. It's in the other basket where it's supposed to be. All right. So I need a piece of... That'll work. So what I do with the distinctive, because if you can see that, it gets like really inky. So if you take either a dauber or a sponge and just lightly, some people like sponge it directly on, but I kind of like taking some off. And then you get that beautiful two-tone. All right, so I'm going to quickly cut this out because this does not have a die. So I kind of go around that for the moment. And then cut off all the extra. All right, and then... And they say, you know, turn your paper. You learn that in kindergarten. I didn't learn it till a few years ago. And I'm not the fastest um, paper cutter in the East. 
Okay, so then I go back and I do things like that. Ooh, I went a little too far. Don't cry, little butterfly. Okay, so I am going to glue this down. I don't know what happened, what I was going to do. Oh, I do know what I was going to do. I am such a dummy sometimes. Okay. I know exactly what I was going to do. I'm going to find the happy birthday, or maybe it's going to end up a thank you because everything's like all over the place. I got it. And I'm going to go direct. So I'm going to put my butterfly like right there. And then I'll kind of, maybe I don't want to. Maybe I really do want to do that. We'll see. I'm going to do it both ways. And I should have done that in eggplant, but that was the extra one from the other. So let's see. Eggplant. All right, Razzleberry. Razzleberry. Okay. So I'm going to put that there. So you could do it. I kind of like it plain. I do. I do instead of something on there. So that's what we're doing. We're going with that. I hope you all like it too. And then I'm going to pop this up. Um, if I would put things back in the same exact spot, I would not be looking for it. But I am who I am. So... There we go. So we're using the old with the new, and there's so many sets that with the stamps that are coming out in this new catalog in January, that look at my fingers. That's like ridiculous. There's a fingerprint right there. So there's so many sets that you can, you know, just grab other things and get so much more use out of it. So that's that card. I'm going to like shove everything off of here, bring everything back. And if you don't have a demonstrator and you want a catalog, because let me tell you, some of these are gorgeous. You'll be seeing them every, every week, different sets that I've already. Per oh, Gail. I'm going to try and get that off. I really am. So. I was going to show you the other one, the difference. Oh, okay. Like this was too overboard for me. You know, like it was, it was just too much. And there's something on it. Yeah, I like this one better, even with the fingerprint. So again, if you don't have a demonstrator and you want one of these catalogs, please let me know and I will send it out to you. Um, I should have my extras. That's really... <laughs> That's really, I'm going to go in and put some like other more color. And um, thanks everybody for joining me tonight. And I will see you, what's today? Today's Sunday? Yeah, so I will see you on Wednesday. So um, thanks again. Good night, everybody. <laughs>